Hi everybody, welcome to the Fired Up with CJ Show. Today we have Carl Johan Kalaman. Welcome, Carl. Thank you. Thank you. And nice. we're going to talk about um, something really inspiring: the end of the world, according to my <laughs> calendar. <laughs> so get ready. We only have a couple of weeks, so you know, start getting all of your goodies in. So, tell us a little bit about this ominous date that's approaching us. <clears throat> I don't think the Maya really intended anything with, with this particular date, uh, but it's been, it is, uh, uh, we are living in a very significant time, uh, a significant shift point in the evolution of our civilization. Mm -hmm. they, they had developed a, a calendar that sort of tracked shift points in the civilizational mm -hmm. development. Mm -hmm. <coughs> We're coming to an and of, the, of this, uh, mm -hmm. uh, this particular calendar system that they used. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is a significant thing. Mm -hmm. Now, the particular date, December 21, 2012, in, in my view at, at least, means nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Except, of course, that if people see this as a time when they create new intention for, mm -hmm. for their lives, individually speaking, and also for, collectively speaking, for the life of our planet, mm -hmm. then there might be a significant beneficial uh, um, effects, you might say, uh, around uh, gatherings of this uh, event and so on. But I, I say that not only, in, in my view, not only is the date incorrect and uh, irrelevant, uh, it's uh, it's really um, not a date when people should be expecting anything happening sort of outside of themselves, if you understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, no, yeah, there's not going to be some natural disaster where we're like struck by whatever. No solar flares, no right. earthquakes, none of that stuff. Uh, no, I, I don't expect either anything to... Um, to happen in the, on the political scale or, or, or right. so Is it more of an internal shift? It's, I hope people are making it into an internal shift mm -hmm. because then they are making use of it. If, if they are see this as an opportunity to create new intention, yes, well, I'm all for it. But here's what I don't understand. I can create intentions at any point, December, before 21st, you know, three months from now. Why is it important to have create intentions now? I'm not saying that it is. Oh, okay. I'm not saying, because as I s said earlier, the actual shift point happened a year ago, and oh. uh, that's, uh, but, but generally speaking, um, to create a new intention today, or December 21, or, or anything, it's not the same thing as creating it 10 years ago. Right, right. Because uh, we have now come, last year, we arrived at the end of a time period of 5,125 years, which is the so-called long count of the Maya. Uh -huh. and you should notice that the beginning of this particular uh, calendar, 5,125 years, uh, mark the time of rise of civilization. Uh, okay. okay, got it. We like that, or don't we like living in a civilization? That, that's not the issue. Okay, so the civilization ended in theory a year ago anyway. So at this point, so, but at this point, what I'm hearing you say, it's, it's all about new beginnings now. It's, it, that already happened. If something bad was going to happen, it already happened. And now it's about creating a new. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think it, it's been said so many times that the Maya never talked about uh, this as the end of the world. It, it's, that's sort of an invention by the media, by Hollywood and so forth. Right. It, you hear the media saying that this is a new age concept. Right. No, I rarely hear any new age to say it's the end of the world. It's only the media saying that it's right. the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. And, but they are not taking responsibility for it. Instead, they're saying these other people are saying it, like the Mayans yeah. or the new... <laughs> yeah. But they, none of these people are saying that. Right. So it's quite clear for any serious uh, student of the Mayan calendar that this has nothing to do with the end of the world. But, I said, this is the 
the, the completion of, you might say, the first phase of creation of, of civilization uh, on our planet. Okay, fair enough. So I'm not going to, I was actually going to go and eat uh, half a Sunday every day in my celebratory um, fashion before the end of the world, so I, I really shouldn't go ahead and do that, because <laughs> I'm going to be alive <laughs> on the 21st. Yeah, uh, and I mean, that you, you can make, come up with fun things. You could do yeah. the things you could do if, if you, you see this is the last thing I... Yeah, I, it, exactly. I'm going to check off my bucket list really quick. <laughs> Anyways, so, so we're going to be talking more about the Mayan calendar when we get back.